Hey guys, Billy Jenkins here with Silver Creek Doodles. Today, Olivia and Charles's puppies are four weeks old. So Olivia's puppies are four weeks old. So we started food last week. So they were my litter of 10 that were hungry. And I don't know if it's mom didn't have, enough. they were gaining, but they were still just very fussy and hungry. So as soon as we started the food and they got right onto it, now they devour it so which is really cool you've got you know full tummies we're able to you know alert them with hey hey puppy 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 are you ready for food and they they are happy to see me and not that they aren't before that but they still are kind of leery even at that age that you know mom humans kind of that kind of thing so we've got all of that that's wrapping it together but today so we went ahead and took pictures and wait yesterday. We kind of had to split it up a little bit. So went ahead and got that done a day early. We're gonna deworm today on camera. And then we're also gonna start letting the puppies outside. Super exciting. They're asking to go outside and maybe I can get it on video, but we've got, you know, our box that they're in and the doggy door behind it, they'll stand up and be crying. And like, they know, they know there's something out there and it could be because a little bit of the cool breeze, um, not the cool breeze, but just a little bit of cool, temperature difference. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put them out, kind of let you see. It's not gonna be super exciting today because they're not really gonna know what to do. It's in a few days once they really start going out, they know they can kind of go out a little bit further. Outside area, so inside is six by six, outside is six by 12. So double the distance out there. And what we're gonna try to do is train them to potty on the outs, you know, further out, you know, towards the, the 12 foot side. So we've got our grates out there. They're gonna potty in the front in the beginning, which is fine. That's just, that's normal. But then they're gonna work their way back. So super excited. Let's go ahead and show you what we're doing. We'll get them out for a minute, tell you their weights, deworm them, and then show them just for a quick second, not talking too much about them. And then we're gonna let them go outside and just let you see them kind of on their new roaming grounds out there. First puppy is Miss White with the perfect markings for a party. And Jenny, she's so sweet, super chill. She's been one of our, our chunkiest girls the whole time, so she's not been as fussy as the others. But I think it's because she's been so full because she fights for her food. So she was two pounds, 14.5 ounces. Are you ready to start going outside? Are you? Ooh, that was good. So the things that we've been doing, you know, almost every day, just checking for hernias. They're, they go to the vet in two weeks, but we always, I just like to be ahead of the game. So checking for hernias, checking the teeth, looking for underbite, stuff like that. The litter's been perfect so far. And we'll check back on camera again today, but her teeth look good, like they're coming in good. I don't feel any hernias, anything like that. Yeah, hey, pretty girl. All right, let's go get your brother. Here's Mr. Blue Boy. Are you squinting? He's got like the old man face too. Like those eyebrows. That comes from Beatrix. Um, and I don't know who she gets it from, but she's got that face built and that's, um, you know, Olivia. So I don't know. See, I don't know. But some of them will have that face shape and that hair, which I think is super cute. Good boy. Like I said, I don't feel any hernias. Teeth look like they're in the right spot. All good update for this week. Now we have Miss Pink. She's really cute. Yeah. Her lines are real distinctive, which is really nice. So she was two pounds, 5.4 ounces. And I don't know if I said blue's weight, three pounds, 1.8 ounces for blue. Three pounds, 1.8. 
and then Miss Pink is two pounds, 5.4. <sighs> Look at her. All right, Miss Prissy. No hernias, it feels like for her. Her teeth line up, look just fine. Growing on a normal scale. Let's go get Miss Purple. There she is, <laughs> Miss Purple. I think she has the same kind of face structure as well as blue, kind of with Beatrix in there. Aren't they adorable? So cute. So, so cute. She's definitely on the smaller side. So she is two pounds, 2.4 ounces. Everything looks good though. Teeth. We don't see no hernias. None of that stuff. All right, let's go get me some orange. So Miss Orange is one of our bigger girls, like I've said in the beginning, and she still has the bigger structure. So I like it. So 30-ish, 35 maybe, but she's definitely got the structure of more like dad on the bigger side, but I don't think she'll be like the 25 pounds. Eh? She'll be more in the 30 pound range. All right, so she was two pounds, 15.6 ounces. Just has blocky structures. So, oh, is that good or bad? Is that good or bad? You got some on your lips. There we go. There we go. You'll get it all cleaned up. So this is Miss Orange. I gotta go get your brother. Now we have Mr. Yellow. I checked your mouth and your lips are caught up on the, <laughs> up underneath the bottom. So he is lighter in color. But he's super adorable. Got real nice black marking or nice black pigment. So he was two pounds, 13.6 ounces. Don't feel any type of hernias. Mouth looks like it's fine. Teeth look like they're in line where they're supposed to be. All that good stuff. Mister, I think you have a sister next. Let's go get your sister. Yep, Miss Green. <laughs> she's got a really nice built head, her face. She's got a little bit of dusting of white on the top of the right side of her nose and her chin. This is Miss Green. So she's three pounds, 0 0.8 ounces. Same as the others, don't feel any type of hernia. Um, teeth look like they're in place. Good. All that good stuff. Super adorable. All right, let's go get your brother. So now we got Mr. Black, black male. So he's got some white on his chin. I'm surprised he's not fussing at me. I just took him off of mom. He was sucking. So he was two pounds, 10.6 ounces. Teeth look good. Can't feel any types of hernias. Oh, is that good? So everything looks good so far. Let's go give you back to mom so you can suck before she gets out again. Yeah. Next is Mr. Red. 
So he's our party boy. Super sweet. Really beautiful. So two pounds, 10.6 ounces. I just pulled him off of mama too. He's probably like, what's going on? Same with the others. It doesn't feel like he has any type of hernia or anything like that. His teeth do line up, not really on top of each other, but closer than the others. So we'll just have to keep a watch on it, but nothing severe and it could be normal for sure. But we just gotta keep an eye on it. His is the only one so far that has any bit of anything. I think it'll be fine though. I say, I think it'll be fine. Go get your sister. Last but not least is Miss Brown. I just pulled her, her off of mom too and kind of clean her face up because it was all wet from her sucking. So she's two pounds, 5.4 ounces. I just took a look. She looked like she might have an underbite. So when, you, when we get really small puppies, not really small, but on the smaller side of the litter, that's when we might could chance our underbites. They're cosmetic. You know, we've, we've never had an underbite that has been a health issue, but we definitely like to let people know about it. But let me see if I can show. So it's kind of hard to get pictures on camera like this. All right, maybe you got it right there. Oh, I know, I sorry. So it's, you know, like I said, underbites here are cosmetic. We've never had one that's been an issue. And you know what, this could change. Well, I don't know. We'll see, but we can note that she does have a, an underbite as of right now, but still don't feel like any type of hernia is nothing like that. This is Miss Brown. She's a pretty girl. Yeah, you can't tell by looking at her though. Let me fold her lips down. You can't tell by looking at her that she has an underbite. So that's when it's very mild. If sometimes when you can see them when their bottom jaws are sticking out. Am I talking about your mouth? So you yawn. All right, let's get her medicine in her. Well, dewormer. And then we will stick them outside just for a few minutes because they just ate too, so that's perfect. And then once I get them outside, I'll run around and video them some so you can kind of see you're still hungry. Let's go put you back on mama. So what we're gonna do is we are going to pull this up and stick them out and then we'll go around the other side. All right, y'all ready to go outside? Who wants to go out first, huh? <laughs> this is also gonna help with handling, picking up, moving around. something new like this they start the barking good job guys good job 
All right, I'm gonna go to the outside and see if I can call him down this way. Come on, pup, 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 pup. Come here, puppy, puppy, puppy. It's usually so super rare, though, for the puppies really to even leave that area the first time they come outside. So even Mr. Red walking around, that's huge. Good job, guys! Good job! Listen to them. Oh my goodness. Alright, well I'm going to go get in there with them. Kind of let them come to me some and then... They're not gonna stay out long. This is their first time, so. What do you think, fellas? All right, something pretty cool, guys. We already had one poop out here. Good job, guys. Good job. I know, I know, I know. Well, he might not be on the grates, and he might be up against <laughs> the slide, which will get clean, but he's pooping out here too, so that's great. That's great. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
guys let's put you back inside get you back into your comfort zone we'll try it again in a couple hours good job guys good job y'all are doing so good Hope you enjoy that. Like I said, not super, super exciting. You know, not a lot of stuff going on, but super cute. You know, who who wants to see their puppy a whole nother week? You know, these videos are for our families that are wanting to see the progress, seeing what we're doing, all of that good stuff. So thank you for watching. Thanks for coming back. If this is your first time here and you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that link. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. We'll see you next time. Bye.